you all to know that I believe that your efforts have merit and I want to help get the job done and I will in a couple of minutes announce publicly that I'm supporting your efforts. But before my staff opens the doors to the press however I want to commend you all for your continuing work in behalf of the nation's 27 and a half million veterans, their dependents and survivors, almost 80 million people in all. Let me also take this moment to tell you how much I personally appreciate your support for my foreign policy and national security initiatives over the years. And now I'm going to have them open the door and we'll all just a small talk or smile at each other. Be happy. Okay. There'll be two ways. The second wave is when we'll make the announcement. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> This, this first wave brings up the old sacrilegious saying, you know, about the story of the Last Supper. They said everyone that wants to get on this side of the table, or get in the picture, get on this side. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you got them all indoors on a rainy day, Mr. President. Yes, sir. <laughs> I guess we had to have our ceremony for our visit to President Hitzog. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Did you go well this morning? Yes, very well. Very interesting. President of Israel. With an Irish broke. <laughs> <laughs> he was born in Ireland. <laughs> I just have one observation, Mr. Brent. I'm a little concerned that there's enough room around this table for one more chair. <laughs> uh, that's right. Always room for one more. <laughs> Always, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but when it's just a cabinet meeting, why, then oh, there's some space. All <laughs> <laughs> right. but right now I have an announcement to make uh, to all of you that tomorrow our nation will pause and remember those veterans who've served in the armed forces both at home and abroad and we'll remember those who gave their last measure fighting for what our country represents, freedom. There's not a better time or better way to salute those valiant men and women than to announce today my decision to support the creation of a cabinet level department of Veterans Affairs. This is a personal decision that I've thought about for some time. There are six times as many veterans alive today as there were in 1930 when the agency was first created. And veterans have always had a strong voice in our government, but it's time to give them the recognition that they so rightly deserve. So I'm joining with those here today in support of this effort. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you can count 
President, on it. Mr. President, the Washington Post columnist says today that Ed Meese is an embarrassment to the administration and should resign. What are your feelings? I don't know where they get that idea. He's no embarrassment to me. I've known him for 20 years, and I found him a sound mind and great loyalty and capability in all that time. Lights, please. Lights, please. This way. Mr. President, I'm going to tell you, this is the first time you've ever tricked me. We came here to have to sell you a bill of goods, and you were already sold. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. The greatest president since George Washington. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I'll say things are looking better every minute. <laughs> We can come tomorrow. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, that is great. Mr. President, on behalf of the Veterans Administration, sir, let me thank you for this decision. <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah, Mr. President, one of the authors, uh, as the author to be on the Senate, we have eight or nine co-sponsors. I want to thank you, too. There you go. Mr. President, the American Legion wishes to thank you. <laughs> well, I'm really pleased to do it. The Disabled American Veterans would like to thank you very much. And the DFW has been, been behind you all the way, Mr. President. We're behind you on this, too. <laughs> well, you've been most supportive of many things that I've tried to do, and I, I appreciate it. Now, I think, uh, well, does anyone else have any comments they want to make? Or? I Our think every veteran's organization has approved this. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. You're right. Mm -hmm. I don't think we'll have any problems uh, in the House, Mr. President. We're bringing the bill up. Yes, you can. Yes, I'm right here. I'm right here. Like <laughs> you got to learn that. Pardon me? No, 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 no. <laughs> Karen Baker, my son Derek. Well, I think you're nice to do this, Mr. President. Well, why don't we get one in front of the desk? All right, sir. If you don't mind, I'm going to take one of my cameras so I got those nuggets in my truck. You better not go ahead and look. You're getting so excited. Mr. President, Derek says Matthew won't sit on Santa's lap either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, everybody right here. One more. Great, great. great. Pete, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, Pretty soon, going to be needing a book bag. We're going back to school. Going to school. This is a book bag. Thank you. This is a book bag for you. And uh, if you get around to it, down in the book bag is, are some jelly beans. Oh my! Would you go for that? Thank you. Wow, that's great. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Appreciate it. All right. I'll take them back down to the office. Yeah. 
Where? Oh. Let's go find out. <laughs> Jelly bean. Dad. Daniel and Matthew's mom and daddy are going to the state dinner tonight. Oh, hey. Okay, we'll see you tonight. All right. Okay. There we go. You ready? Thanks again. Concerned about Mrs. Reagan. How is she? She's just fine. Yes. Is she doing all right? Yes. Mr. President, I have a brand new office and uh, we're just decorating it. And I wondered if I might be privileged to have a picture with you just myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that means for me? <laughs> thank you. Well, thank congratulations you. on the Marion District. I want to thank you again yes, for the uh, video that you oh, did well, uh, that evening. We used to do it as a special evening. And it's a chance also to thank you for all the things you've been doing for our service causes. I'm most grateful. God bless you, Mr. President. We're praying for you as you make this next appointment in uh, the Supreme Court. And uh, we're with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Just one second. Souvenirs. Oh, my That's nice. right. right. Thank That's you. It. My goodness. That's special. Thank, thank you very much. I appreciate uh, that. that. Again, thank you, yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving us this time. Thanks also for this pornography bill today. I can't yes. tell you what that means to me and to all of us. And uh, we, uh, I know that will be a struggle on the Hill, and we will help. Well, I'm very <laughs> pleased to be sending it up there. Okay. You look great. Thank you. within the resistance. But before I go on with things, I think you must have some things you would like to do. 